for indicating a milling machine vise is done to ensure that the vise is precisely aligned with the machine table. Before setting up the mill vise, check the bottom of the tooling as well as the mill table for burrs and chips. If the vise bottom or machine table is rough, use a fine stone to remove any burrs. Then wipe the bottom of the vise and table clean. Obtain a suitable dial indicator, the correct T-nuts and bolts, the proper wrench, and a soft-faced hammer. These items will be used to align, adjust, and secure the vise to the machine table. Set these tools on a tool board to protect the machine table from damage. Carefully set the vise in the desired position. Insert the T-nuts and bolts, leaving them only finger tight. When moving or turning the vise, be careful not to pinch fingers. Install the dial indicator in the machine spindle or mount in another suitable solid mounting. Tighten the bolt lightly on one side of the vise. This will be the pivot point. Tighten this bolt just enough so the vise is steady, but will still move. Then position the vise so that the dial indicator stylus is very near the end of the jaw. Always indicate only on the solid jaw when aligning a vise. Use the saddle crank to bring the solid jaw into contact with the indicator tip. Continue moving the jaw until the indicator reads zero. A few thousandths on the indicator dial will be okay. Then. Using the table crank, move the vise jaw along the table axis while watching the indicator dial. Continue moving the vise jaw until the indicator reaches the opposite side. Note the amount of indicator deviation. Determine the direction of the dial indicator spindle or stylus movement. Adjustments to the vise should be made in a direction that causes the indicator spindle or stylus to extend rather than retract. The reason for this is to prevent damage to the indicator mechanism. Use the soft face hammer to gently tap the vise on the pivot point side so that the indicator reading returns to zero. Tighten the bolt opposite the pivot point lightly.
Using the table crank, position the vise jaw back to the other side and note any indicator deviation. If any is detected, reset the dial indicator bezel to zero. Position the vice job back to the other side and note any further indicator deviation. Use the soft face hammer and adjust if necessary. Move the vise back and forth, noting any indicator deviation from the zero reading. If none is observed, tighten the bolt securely and recheck the alignment. The vise is now precisely aligned with the machine table and is ready for a machining operation. For further information, talk with your instructor and consult your text, Machine Tool Practices.